Stretching 220 kilometers up the coast from Mapalane in the south to Cozy Bay on the Mozambique border, it's an epic setting. I've been so blessed to travel the world with top billing already, but I think this one might be my best one yet. One, for the location, and two, because of the company I get to spend my time with. The beautiful Jonathan and Jay. How are you, Jay? <laughs> a group Jay hug. <laughs> so why here? I mean, it's Isimangaliso is one of the most naturally diverse places in the world. She goes crazy for nature and the outdoors, so do I. And I mean, it's, as South Africans, I mean, we owe to, to ourselves to come to a place like this. It's just so beautiful. Jay, you're just as busy as Jonathan. How do you find the time to come to the wilderness? Yeah, it's pretty tricky to arrange our schedules. I mean, with me being on set, shooting, and him always being away with top billing, but it's something we have to make time for. Jay's the daughter of actor Norman Anstey, who she recently filmed a pilot with for a new series. Away from the pressures of the industry, she's very happy to play a member of the audience for once. When they look there, there's a white rhino, the mother and the baby, and so we call it a white rhino because it came from the mouth. They were well known as a white mouth rhino. We've got other species, what we call it a black rhino or hook mouth rhino. The black rhino, they feed on the leaves. The white rhino, they feed on grass. Is it common to see rhino in Isimangaliso? Yes, it's common to see the rhinos here, but hardly to see the mother and the baby rhino. Why are they coming so close? Don't worry, relax. These species of a rhino, they're more Take cool. It, it was better if the black rhino, like, they do charge. <laughs> That's insane. Guys, I knew we were going to get close, but that was a bit too close for me. <laughs> Where else in the world can you get that close to wild animals? No, oh, so no I can way. say only Isimangaliso we can park. You can get it so close. <laughs> The rhinos are tightly guarded and protected here in the shadow of 25,000-year-old dunes and estuaries, where locals have fished the same way for seven centuries. The delicious spread they laid on was making Jonathan peckish. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Is he always like that? He is always like that. He's such a child. <laughs> he has a massive sweet tooth. He loves sweet things. I can't stop him. I mean, he has Kit Kats next to the bed, rusks under the bed. It's a constant thing. I'm a terrible chef, so I feel really bad for him because he is a complete foodie and I can't cook at all. So uh, a lot of things go in the microwave. I'm a really good warm-up artist. <laughs> I've become really good at that. Our downtime is very much uh, going, doing crazy things, uh, kayaking, King and we're a very adventurous couple, so a lot of that goofy side, fun side comes out when we spend time together. The park is a playground for 800 hippo too. This view is incredible. Yes, this is Catalina Bay. The natural beauty is part of what makes Isimangali so unique and special. It's the different ecosystems that we have here. We're overlooking the Lake St. Lucia, which is the largest estuarine system in the whole of Africa. So the park became a World Heritage Site and South Africa's first for that matter. We have amongst the highest sand dunes in the world. We have game, we have the beaches, we have it all. It's a unique World Heritage Site. The word Ismangaliso means miracle in Zulu and arose when Shaka's envoy sent here to the land of the Tonga returned and described this beauty as a miracle. Well, everyone loves a good love story, so I'm all ears. It's funny, we were, we were joking about it the other day, like how Top Binning kind of inadvertently covered our journey together, starting with uh, back in 2012 when I first saw Jade, the year spectacular, and, and thinking to myself, you know, still brand new in the industry, I'd love to imagine having that woman as my date to, to an event like the Year Spectacular, and now I cut to this year, and then she's my date. Favorite TV presenter, Jonathan Boynton Lee. She came to interview me at uh, Isidingo. It was uh, Sherelle's wedding, and you walked in there, I remember you. But it was quite sweet, at the end of the, the insert, he said, can I come back as uh, Jay's love interest? That was the first yeah, thing Yeah, I had a little said. cameo, and I spoke to the director <laughs> after. What did you think of, my, of you there? I almost stopped the take in the middle. I thought it was Daniel Craig. I was like, what's this? I'm still shooting. <laughs> but it was you, man. Serious? I, I Serious? think you are, you are natural. I think you are so good. And um, we need you back for the next one. I think you need to write a more meaty part for me, eh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We were thinking maybe, you know... Preferably involved with Jay Anstey in some, in some way or another, if you can hook that up for me. You reckon? Yeah. I, I was think thinking love maybe... interests, like from the past or something. You don't think maybe Kimberly and Charlie? I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, That'll be perfect. Make it work. Most definitely. Sort but I think you're me. perfect, mate. Now you got to put things out there and it happens eventually. <laughs> then uh, Strictly Come Dancing, the top five Jay came to watch, unfortunately, when I was wearing that shocking neon 
do my green thingy, whatever it was, you and I forgot my entire routine. But, <laughs> but it was the waltz that got her. It did. It was the waltz because it was a kind of like a little love story, and me looking after the Haley, my partner, and the. the Looking after your woman through tough times and everything, and she said that the while way she was that watching, he was looking at Haley. I just my heart melted, and I thought, oh, I just want to be looked at oh, by yeah. that man, <laughs> just like that. Meanwhile, it was just terror in my <laughs> trying to get through that dance routine, but it worked. It worked. And then there was the, our first unofficial date, where she won a date with me, I which did. was a top billing insert as well. <laughs> and that was we kind of went on our first official, unofficial date. Simba's last weekend here. We were all away together. She was there when I shot the little bromance video with him. We were playing tennis the one time, the one evening, and Simba was in the pool, and someone shot a video of him, and he sang like this little Lion King, <laughs> uh, his love version of, of the two of us. Can you feel the love tonight? Can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel the love tonight? I'm done. <laughs> The whole progression and the whole journey, you know, and, and our anniversary is actually on the day Simba died, so it's like it was just Perfect. full circle. So that's pretty much our journey. Do you have anything to add? Because you're normally the one talking. <laughs> no, the you're most doing such I've a ever good spoken job. in our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually true. So it looks like Top Billing's there for all the pinnacle moments. Absolutely. Again, they're here, you know? you know? And speaking of that, I'm actually going to get down oh. my knee now. <laughs> Throw me to the she crocodile. Knew, she knew I was going to do that. She knew I was going to do that. We were like, we got a joke. We've got to propose, we got to propose on national television. But Top Billing will be there for that, probably. <laughs> if you're going to escape the cameras, this is where to do it, with whale sharks and turtles to be seen offshore, leopard, buffalo and lion inland. There are chalets built right in the midst of the forest, where your morning wake-up call comes courtesy of over 500 bird species. Hi, welcome folks. Welcome folks, I hope you'll enjoy the stay with us at Tonga Peach Lodge. We've got a very lovely place for you to relax, uh, you also got another area resorts within this Mangaliso. If you want to watch the hippos, uh, we've got Makakatana next to St. Lucia. But uh, all the environment within this Mangaliso is incredible. The winter water temperatures were well below the 29 degree average of midsummer, but our presenters still braved the ocean. You have not been the relationship type of guy, so Jay must be quite something special. From the very first moment I met her in 2012 at the USPEC, you know, Simba and I used to meet every week to just catch up, and I always said to him from that day that Jay's the one person that's going to tame the beast. <laughs> sure enough, that's exactly what she did. You know, people were calling me George Clooney of South Africa. They thought I'd never settle down. <laughs> but it took a woman like Jay to finally, you know, tame me and then turn me into that hopeless romantic that deep inside I actually was. Well, I know you're super close with your little nephew, Matthew. Is somebody maybe getting a bit broody? You know what? My gorgeous nephew and niece are more than enough for me to handle at the moment. They, they, that's, that's cool. Jay, Jay is, is 10 years younger than me, so you know people tend to forget that. She's an old soul. They don't realize she's just 24 years old. She's just turned 24. So we've got plenty of time on our hands to, to worry about children. You were adopted. Do you think you might adopt one day? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, if I look at the life I've had and how lucky I've been, second chances and, and giving someone else a life like that, it's something we, we've actually spoken about as well. Jay would love to adopt one day. So, you know, it's just another thing we have in common, which is fantastic, definitely. One of my own and one adopted. Hearing that these waters are the habitat of the world's oldest fish, the coelacanth, all eyes were on the lookout. Jonathan had no sighting to report back, but these days, to even the casual observer, he only has eyes for Jay, so we forgive him. I don't know about you guys, but one of my favorite things with those beautiful lodges, Isi Mangaliso has literally blown me away. 100%. I think this was definitely a, a perfect Jay and Jonathan holiday. It incorporated everything we love the most. The nature, the animals, the adventure for John, the relaxing for me, I think everything. Absolutely, it was just that typical South African magic, you know, the warm people and close encounters with animals and the beautiful surroundings. It's just everything that South Africa has to offer. It's perfect. Cheers to you, leopards. Cheers. <laughs> They're co-developing an exciting movie in which Jay will star and Jonathan will write, direct and act. You heard it here.